All righty, guys, another day with another SoFi stock video because it is up yet again. At least it is as of now. I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but right now at about 1.30 p.m., it is up over 3%. Earlier in the pre-market, it was almost at $10 per share. So we're going to break down the charts in this video, go over some levels that I'm looking at, my thoughts. But before we dive into it, don't forget to get up to 17 free stocks for Moomoo, Moo, each up to 2000 bucks. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo open up your account and fund it with at least a hundred dollars you get five stocks each up to two thousand bucks and you get a free share of c3 ai guaranteed which right now is over 40 bucks per share and if you fund your account with at least a thousand dollars guys you get 10 more stocks totaling 16 stocks and fund it with at least five thousand bucks i know it's a lot but you get another free share of either tesla stock or google stock on top of all those other stocks guaranteed guaranteed guys so use that link down below check out all the details and of course it is an affiliate link it helps out the channel i appreciate you all as always and now cheers guys let's dive right into the video so right now like i said it's around 1 30 1 20 p.m on the east coast so we're heading more towards the second half of the trading day and sofi stock is looking pretty dang bullish look at what's going on here guys like i said in the pre-market we got almost a ten dollars and maybe not exactly ten more like 965 but hey pretty close to ten dollars right guys meaning at one point in the pre-market we were up more like five percent when right now we're up around three and a half percent and you guys can see we kind of triple topped in the pre-market at about 960 965 we hit that at around 5 a.m we hit it again at about 7 a.m on the east coast here and we hit it again right before open then actually when the markets opened i'm sure you guys saw this maybe not we'll cover it right now on the intraday chart we saw a huge dump on sofi stock we hit 960 right at open then we found ourselves all the way down to 890 by around when was that 10 15 a.m so on the first 45 minutes of trading sofi got hit seven and a half percent do you guys want to see how freaking resilient the bulls are and, and how resilient they were earlier in the day guys we saw buyers come in at that $8.90, $9 level, which, mind you, is a higher low compared to where we held yesterday. Let me show you guys this right here. Boom, we held a higher low, and then we ended up running up until where we are now, which, again, it's about 1.30 p.m. We're up around 3 3.5%, and it's just crazy to see how resilient the Bulls are are and how, how resilient they were a couple hours ago to the point where we went from you know seeing a golden cross or a death cross rather we were under the moving averages to then breaking out of the moving averages getting a you know a, a golden cross and we're still holding above the uh the 180 sma as of now which is really good for the bulls and personally guys what i'm going to be looking out for here over the next couple of hours really for the uh you know for the rest of the day i'm looking to see if sofi could break out of 960 965 or at least go up and test that point which again that was the high from the pre-market where we pretty much triple top that and when you're watching this video i'm not sure when you're going to be watching it probably around uh, I, I don't know 4 p.m maybe 7 p.m on the east coast i'm not sure when i'm going to schedule it for but when you're watching this the move already played out so let me actually know in the comments what ended up happening guys uh you know did we break 965 did we go and test it or do we get rejected at that point, which is also a possibility. You got to realize, guys, SoFi stock is up so much over the past couple of weeks. We might be due for some sort of pullback, a mini pullback at some point. And the, the, the charts have to show us that. And, and to be honest, we're not seeing any signs of that quite yet. In fact, again, we're up 3.5% right now. And if we break 965, guys, we can make that final push, not the final push, but another push to $10, which is the next next main uh, level here that I'm looking at on SoFi stock. And if I pull up the five day, five minute chart, guys, you're going to notice, wait a second, we actually held the uptrend on this five day, five minute with the bounce at around $899 today, which is such a good sign for the bulls. And you guys can also see if I draw this line out back on, when was this? The 9th of June, we actually peaked out at around 875, 880, 890, and we saw a bit of a sell off. And again, we held that point yesterday at around, you know, 12 p.m. in the middle of the day. 
and we held it today on our uh, first pullback uh, in the morning. We bounced off of it, and now we're going towards 965, 970. This is all good news for the Bulls. So my alert is set at 965. Let's see what SoFi does at that point moving forward. I mean, does it break out? Does it get rejected? Maybe we start going back towards 9, maybe under $9 again like we were uh, you know, you know, we were there earlier today. Time will tell, guys. Time will tell what's going to happen here on SoFi. And like I said earlier in this video, guys, you have to realize and be fully aware that SoFi is getting to the point where it needs a pullback. I'm not going to be one of those guys that hops on here and, and, and you know, BSs and sugarcoats everything and is like, oh, we're going to go up 100% every week. You know, we're going to go up 10% every day. I'm not going to be one of those guys. I'm going to be on here and I'm going to tell you guys what my thoughts are, what I think, and what the charts are looking like to me. That's the whole purpose of the channel, right, guys? That's what we're going to do. And at this point, you know, it's been crushing it. And yes, we're not seeing any signs of a pullback quite yet, like I said. But the reality is this chart is just way overextended in the short term. It kind of looks like a rocket ship at this point, guys. Holy crap. I mean, now we're pushing $10. Just about two, three weeks ago, we were at $5. I'm just saying at some point, a healthy pullback would be, uh, you know, would be optimal. You know, that, that'd be good. You know, it's something that I kind of want to happen. And you might be asking yourself, Stas, where could you see that pullback get the stock to? Where could SoFi pull back to? Maybe towards $8, you know, $8.50, $8.25. You know, if I draw this out, you guys will be able to see it. That was the high from the beginning of February. That would be right around uh, the 50 moving average on the four-hour time frame as well. You know, that could be, you know, where this you know could come down to. If $8 were to break, I wouldn't be surprised if it were to get to the mid-sevens potentially on a bigger pullback. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's going to go back to 5 or 6, although it could, never say never. Um, I don't think necessarily is going to do that unless we get an overall market crash, which who knows if that happens. It looks like we're actually getting back in a bull market now, believe it or not. But let's just say hypothetically we do get a crash. Uh, maybe that does get SoFi back to 5.6. But as of now, you know, I don't see that happening, to be honest. The fundamentals are strengthening for the company. The chart looks really good. And, you know, yes, it's overbought. We might get a pullback if it comes down to 8, 750. It's not the end of the world. At that point, honestly, I would think the uptrend would continue. Uh, but time will tell. You know, we have to be patient and kind of see how it plays out. And I'm telling you guys, don't be naive to the point where uh, you think we're not going to get a pullback. You have to realize we will get a pullback and we will cover that here on the channel and really just break down the day to day of how SoFi is doing and a lot of other stocks as well and the overall markets. That's what we do here on the channel. So if you guys like that type of content, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You might as well hit the like button as well. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, up to 17 stocks, each up to 2000 bucks. Just use that link down below, open up an account and fund it with at least a hundred dollars. And then you get five stocks each up to 2000 bucks and you get a free share of C3AI stock, which is actually exclusive to this channel. And now that stock's over, I think 40 bucks per share. So if you want a free share of C3 AI and five stocks guaranteed deposit at least a hundred bucks. And if you deposit at least a thousand dollars, guys, you get 10 more stocks on top of those six stocks. And if you fund your account with at least $5,000 on top of all the stocks you just got, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Google stock. Again, on top of all those stocks guaranteed guys with a $5,000 deposit. So if you want some free money and you want to help out the channel, use that Moomoo link down below. And now, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next one.